Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com, and today we are going to learn how to crochet the moss stitch worked in a square. So we are going to make a basically a granny square that is using the moss stitch instead of a traditional double crochet like you normally would. So this moss stitch is actually quite fun. It's quite easy to do. Once you establish the first few rounds, the rest go so fast you don't even have to hardly look at your stitches anymore, which is fabulous. Let's learn how to do the moss stitch in a square. To do the moss stitch in the square, you are going to need to have four stitch markers. We're going to use these while we are establishing the pattern once we get past round uh, three or so, we really don't need to use these anymore, but particularly for the first round, these are extremely helpful. I'm also going to be using a hook size that is slightly larger than what is recommended for the yarn that I'm using. I'm just using some cotton from my stash. Figured I can work myself up another washcloth and I'll just keep going until I run out of yarn. So I'm going to leave my stitch markers here. First thing is I'm going to start with a magic circle. I have a dedicated tutorial for a magic circle if you need it, but I'm going to make an X here around those. I'm gonna go under the first, over the second, pull it through, and then I'm going to chain one. Like I said, I do have a dedicated video tutorial for the magic circle. If you just do not like this method, you could do a chain four and join to the first chain made to make a circle like this. Now we are going to not chain or anything else. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, so that we have eight stitches total, four single crochets separated by four chain spaces. While we do this, it's extremely helpful if you place a stitch marker around each chain made. So here I just made my chain. I'm gonna grab one of my stitch markers and I'm just going to Grab that entire chain, just like this. So it's just going around that whole chain. We're gonna leave it right there. Now I'm gonna do another single crochet, chain one. Grab another stitch marker and mark that entire chain. Beautiful. Single crochet and chain one. We're gonna mark that chain as well. And one more. We're gonna mark this chain as well. And now we are ready to tighten up our magic circle. We've got all these cute little stitch markers, looks like a charm bracelet. You just pull this magic circle tight and we will weave in this end thoroughly here in a little bit. But now that we have all four of our single crochets separated by our chain spaces, we ended with a chain space here. We're going to join to the top of the first single crochet right here. And that is the end of round one. So you should have one single crochet for each side of your square. I know it doesn't look like much now, and trust me that these stitch markers are going to be a lifesaver in the next round. So let's start a new round. We're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to find the stitch marker to the right right here. So we're going to go into this chain space where this stitch marker is coming out of. Single crochet. That's going to be our new corner, the left side of that corner. Now I'm going to chain one and in this next space that I've marked, I'm going to do two single crochets separated by chain spaces. So I did my first single crochet in that stitch marker, I did a chain one. Now in the next stitch marker, I do a single crochet, chain one, and at this point you can move your stitch marker up like I said, once we get past round mm, three or so, we really don't need these stitch markers anymore. But now this is your centermost uh, chain space or on this corner. So now we're going to do another single crochet and a chain one in that same space. So single crochet, chain one. Now we're gonna do the same thing in this stitch marker here. We're gonna do a single crochet, oops. And you can see why these stitch markers are so beneficial chain one. We're going to move that stitch marker up because that is the new corner. 
We're going to do another single crochet in that same space and another chain one. Now we've got this next stitch marker here. So we're going to do one more corner, single crochet, chain one. Let's move this up. Do our single crochet in the same chain one. And now this is the first stitch marker, right? So this is the first single crochet that we made, one side, two sides, three sides, and this is going to be the fourth side of our square. So now that we have this corner here, we're going to single crochet in the same as that first stitch. So right where that stitch marker is, and then we're going to chain one and join to the top of the first single crochet made. So this is going to be your corner now. So you are always going to end, begin around and end around in the middle of a corner. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this stitch marker, the first one that we placed completely because now that it's at the corner, we know that's the corner and we don't need to mark it anymore. So what we're going to do now, and for all of the other rounds, you can see that this is starting to take a square shape. We're just going to build upon this. One thing that I really like about moss square or a moss stitch square is that you start with one stitch per side, and then you have two, and then you'll have three, and then you'll have four. So if you're on row 10, and you have 10 single crochets going along that side of that square, so it eliminates a lot of the counting. So in order to start a new round, I'm going to chain one and turn. I want to have it oriented like this so that my chain, I have this uh, last chain space. This is the final chain space that I made of the last round. I'm going to start here with my single crochet and chain one. And now this is going to be my new corner. This is where I'm going to place my last single crochet of this round before I join to the top of that stitch. So now I've got my single crochet and a chain one. So in between these next single crochets, there's that chain one right here. We're gonna do a single crochet right in that space. And now we're really just continuing on with the moss stitch. If you know how to do the moss stitch already, then this is going to be a breeze for you. So you see where this stitch marker is, that's a corner. So we're gonna do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, if I can say it. I promise I can do it, I just might not be able to say it. <laughs> so we've got a single, chain, single, chain. And if you would like to, you can move your stitch marker up until you are comfortable creating those corners without um, looking or without needing the, the stitch marker to show you where to go. So now I've got this chain space in the middle of this round right here, or the middle of this side. So I'm going to single crochet in that chain space, chain one, and now I'm going to do a corner in this here. One single crochet, chain, two single crochets, chain. And like I said, if you would like to move this up just like that, we're gonna go in between these next two single crochets, chain one, and in between these for the next corner. So two single crochets separated by chain spaces. Move this up. Single crochet in between these next two. Chain one, and now we're going to single crochet in the same as the first right here. This is where that first stitch is coming out of. Chain one and join to the top of that first single crochet made. So this is the end of round three. So I'm going to add a few more rounds so that we can really get the effect of it. Here I have done several more rounds of the moss stitch worked in the square. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love the colors. I love the way that the yarn dips down into the row below it so you've got that great contrast, especially when you're using a variegated yarn like this. Absolutely gorgeous. So now I can continue growing this square as large as I can. Like I said, you could make it into a baby blanket or just an oversized washcloth to use in the kitchen. I hope you love this tutorial and that you will continue to crochet the moss stitch in a square and that you'll crochet with me soon. Thanks for watching.